What were the chances of me, my celebrity crush, 1 a.m. in the morning in Hollywood at an IHOP? Like seriously? Hey everyone, it's Yvette. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the time that I was at IHOP with my celebrity crush. If he sees this, hey, what's up? <laughs> I need to be professional. I'm gonna try my best not to fangirl. If he ever sees this, I freaking love you. <laughs> okay, I need to get it together now. You may know him as Kevin Richardson from When They See Us or as Malik from This Is Us, which is my favorite show of all time. Mm. This all happened back in November 2019, I believe. As an HSF scholar, I was invited to the Media and Entertainment Summit in Hollywood. I got to meet a cohort of 100 people from all across the United States, which was honestly the best part because I got to make like, a family and everyone was just so freaking awesome. And I miss y'all so much. We got this nice hotel with beautiful views right smack in the middle of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. On the first night after a whole day of like orientation, workshops, events, uh, speaker series, panels, yada yada, so we were like, let's go explore Hollywood Walk of Fame, uh, see what we could eat, where we can eat, and a lot of people wanted to go to in and out so first we went on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and it was nice just to have like the night to ourselves. Some people were like, oh, I'm getting hungry, yo, and I was like, me too. We had a hard time choosing where we wanted to go eat. Some of us wanted to go to IHOP. Some of us wanted to go to In-N-Out because they were not they were not from California, so they have never tried In-N-Out, and they hear about the In-N-Out hype, and I was like, bruh, I'm over the whole In-N-Out hype. I'm just gonna go with my little crew here to IHOP. We had just walked past this red carpet. There was a movie premiere or something going on. We're like, dang it, we had just missed it. So then we go to IHOP, we have the whole place to ourselves. We had no money to buy a real meal, so some of us just ordered like two pieces of chicken strips, I got a shake, everyone else got like fries or whatever. We basically got appetizers because you know, college life. We're just sitting there talking about what we want to do with our lives and where everyone's from. Keep in mind, we had just met a few hours before and we're literally like this, like family. So that was very nice. Uh, thanks HSF. We're sitting in a booth. I had friends in front of me sitting in front of me like this and um, it was me and a couple friends right here. Over there where the door is is where the entrance was at IHOP. So I had my back facing the, the entrance. My friend was like, hey, is it prom season or something? And I was like, no, why? And my friend said, there's people over there dressed super fancy. So I turned around and literally it was like a slow-mo moment. I literally started from the feet and then scanned them all the way up to the faces and like it didn't register to me who it was I looked behind me and I was like oh I know you I know you yeah 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 I literally pointed to them and then they just looked at us like hmm what's going on what they know us from where and I was like no no I'm freaking dreaming It was freaking Asante Black. And I was like, what, what, what? And I was like, wait, wait, he's from, um, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? He's from When They See Us. And it was with his other like acting friends and I was like, holy crap, holy crap. Well, me and my friends were trying to process what the heck was going on. They sat like three booths um, away from us. Happened. No, this tell, them what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. No, I literally was like, we were talking about something. I literally saw it. I was like, like, I feel like um, so then we're just like, uh. all of a sudden, Asante turns back toward us. He's like, hey, where are y'all from? I was like, Oh, we're part of this organization and we came here for a media entertainment summit because all of us want to be actors, directors, and producers. He was like, oh, cool, cool. Uh, what school do y'all go to? And everyone said their school. And I was like, oh, and I go to UCLA and I had my like UCLA shirt. He was like, for real, I want to go there. And then I was like, if you want to apply, like I could totally help you with your applications. No worries. I got you. And he was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then he turned back around and I was like, oh my God. I'm sorry, but my eyelashes keep sticking together. So I'm scared to be strong. 
he decided to turn around again. He was like, y'all, come over, come over. We, we got up right quick. We're like, don't gotta tell me twice. We went over to his table and then we were like, what are y'all doing here? Um, y'all look so good. We we're like, oh, we just went to a movie premiere and then we saw Rihanna and we we're like, no way you saw Rihanna. So we were fangirling and fanboying because we we're talking to these actors and actresses and then they were fangirling over Rihanna. So it was just like inception of fangirling and fanboying. Oh, you want to see a video now? Yes. 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 Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. This is Rihanna. crazy. She smells so good. You make what? Oh my gosh! 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 Oh what was embarrassing was that i didn't recognize like three of them and then asante kind of got the hint like he was getting the most attention so he was like have y'all seen like my friends work and we were like thank goodness my friend was like we're about to know now one of them was in little fires everywhere um i think the lion king us and then the other one was in um when they see us as well i graduated in film tv and digital media and i don't even know my actors wow okay i gotta do some homework i think we took pictures next we weren't the ones to ask for pictures asante was like do y'all want to take a picture and we we're like yeah sure why not I took a selfie with Asante and he was like, oh my gosh, I have a shiny forehead. I was like, babe, we shine together. Just kidding. We took the picture and my friends, they were like, okay, let's go back to our table. When is this moment going to happen ever again in the future? I need to take advantage of this. So I just stayed behind and I just started talking about what I want to do in the industry. And I was telling them that I want to be a storyteller, whether that's a director, producer, writer. And what I want to do is amplify the voices and the visibility of people of color on and off the screen. I want to just show them in a different light. That's why I take a holistic approach to show the good and bad of everyone. Because we all have a good and bad side. Because I feel like it does a character more justice by portraying them as not just a one-dimensional character. So anyways, so I was telling him about my goals and ish and he was like, that's right, that's right. They were like snapping. He was like, yeah, I'm totally on board with you and that really needs to happen. That movement needs to be sped up a little bit. We're making progress, but we got to keep the momentum going. And I said, exactly. That's why we need to stick together, us people of color. I'm an introverted person. So the fact that I stayed behind to speak to these people that I've seen on TV, I really stepped out of my comfort zone. And I was like, oh my gosh, like at first I was nervous. But when I started talking like from my heart, like that nervousness went away and I was just so passionate and so proud of myself. Those workshops really worked, HSF. I was like, okay, well my friends are waiting for me, but y'all keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for speaking to us. Hope y'all have a good night. And so Sante, I'll see you at the top when I'm a director and you're an actor in my movie. He was like, for sure, for sure. I can't believe I freaking said that. I had the audacity to say that, you know, but you have to speak that stuff into existence. But that was the time. I was the IHOP of my celebrity crush. This is one of those things where if I had changed one little thing that I did, none of this would have happened. That was a total fail of me trying not to fangirl, but I'm so glad I got to experience this moments with my HSF fam. Crazy stuff happens in Hollywood. I'm really glad that happened because I got to see that these are normal people who are just like us, who fangirl about other celebrities, you know? I loved conversating with them about stuff that we care about, stuff that we want to improve in the industry. Just the fact that they like respected us because we're older than them and we're all in college. They were like, whoa, you guys go to this school, that school. It felt really great. It was a really cool moment. And that's one of the things I love about Los Angeles. Every day is so different. Yeah, La La Land or whatever. I'm still trying to get used to seeing celebrities and stuff around. I try not to uh, fangirl or whatever because I need to remember the humans first, 
not just these like oh my gosh very popular people that you see all over tv and magazines and stuff so it'd be so crazy if one day i do get to work with asante and then we laugh about this video <laughs> i love hollywood but yeah that was my story i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed sharing my experience with you remember to subscribe to stay tuned for future videos it lets me know that you enjoy the videos that i bring your way and if you want to follow me on my social media i'll link it down below my dms are always open to chat with y'all hope y'all stay safe wear your freaking mask yo Oh, well, that was a good first meeting with my board of directors here. <laughs>